Is there any evidence of a genetic bottleneck? It's a great question, because if there was a flood like it's described in the Bible, you should expect to find a very severe genetic bottleneck where you had great diversity and all of a sudden it's whittled down to, you know, one person or something. And one of the things that's interesting in the, the journal Nature Communications, they've, they've gone back and they look at the genetic diversity of men and the genetic diversity of women tracing back genetic profiles. And what you find when you when you look at men 7,000 years ago, and they don't know the reason why, there's all kinds of theories, but if you go 7,000 years ago, men are growing healthy, and then all of a sudden, every, every source of genetics from every continent and, and location on the earth today, their ancestors, the genetic diversity of men, falls off a cliff 7,000 years ago where it doesn't hit women as hard, which you think the ark. Genetic diversity comes with Noah's wife, different family, three sons have wives. They're all from different uh, people, but the only male DNA is coming from Noah through his sons, right? So you have a severe m bottleneck of male DNA that would have happened in the flood. And interestingly, you find a hint at that and the genetic record.